Hi, welcome to day number four of Vlogmas. We've got us a co-host today. We're up pretty early this morning. Somebody had to go potties, didn't they? And um, he wants to be with somebody. So I might make a cup of coffee, sneezes, trains, sneezes, and coffee. And this morning we're gonna open some advent calendars. drinking the coffee from yesterday, the Vienna Mocha Crunch. It's alright. Not something I would want to purchase again, but hey babe. Okay, so let me set the old Beatles down here so he knows he's with us. We're going to start with the Caterpillar Cross Stitch Advent. And I pulled out box number four already because it's always so hard to get out. And it says, Everything's, everything seems so wonderful at Christmas. Let's see what we got inside. Ooh, ooh. This is a nice one. We've got some DMC needles. Um, they're the size 24. The writing is so light. It says cross stitch needles, round end. They're silver, they're not the gold ones, but ooh, you can never have too many needles. Um, I found when doing cross stitch because I like to load up, especially if I'm um, doing like a lot of like one color in one area. I like to load up a couple needles. That way um, I can just, you know, pick a needle up and it's already got its strand on it. And yeah, I'm having trouble getting it back down in its box. I don't know how they got it down in there. Very, very carefully. So number four, and now we've got number four of the little advent that I created. So let's open it up. And let's see what's down inside the box. I'd like to show you guys the box. So the first thing, oh, the first thing I grabbed is the Amigurumi from the Advent, Amigurumi Advent Adventures, I think. Oh, I'm so bad. Um, but I'll have it linked down below. So actually I was gifted this. I think I told you guys this, um, once before, but I was gifted this advent back in 2021 by Joyce. So thank you, Joyce. And I have wanted to make it ever since because I'm very much into like the woodland creatures and that's what this um, advent feels like. So um, the Amigurumi Adventures, they have like an advent every year. And um, I think that the one for 2023 is already up and it's like every day you get the pattern. Whereas, and that's how mine, when I got, when Joyce gifted it to me, um, it was like every day the pattern was released. So um, day number four, we have some oak leaves. And let me tell you guys, I did not like making these little leaves. I don't know why, but I made a brown one and I held um, some, oh, that's the wrong side. There we go. I held some uh, shimmery like cotton thread with it. And then I made a green one and I just used that same cotton thread to like put some veins and decorations on it. So I made a dead and all alive leaf. So that will go with the rest of my little woodland stuff. Let's see, what else do we have down in here? Oh, I feel the coffee pod. Let's see, what kind of coffee do we have? Ooh, what does that say? It says Brooklyn Bean Roastery Cinnamon Subway. Okay, I'm gonna be super excited to try this one, guys. Because if you remember, I think it was day number two, we had a cinnamon one and it was good, but the cinnamon wasn't very pronounced. Like you got, like just a hint of cinnamon. So like if you like just a hint of cinnamon, that one would be good. 
but um, I'm hoping that this one will have a little bit more cinnamony flavor because I'm a cinnamon gal. I like the cinnamon. Hmm. Okay, let's see what else is down in the box. Let's hold it up here. <gasps> you know what I feel? I feel a snowflake. Oh, look at here. Let's see. Does that help show it off a little bit better? Oh, look, I put a little string on this one. Let's see. Nope, maybe that just helps. Nope, there it is. So that is the snowflake. And this one is called Arctic Mist. Now, um, I know I've told you before, but I will remind you. I've got the snowflakes out of this 100 Snowflakes to Crochet book. And guys, I've been looking for this book online, and I'm not having any luck finding one that's like reasonably priced. Like, I believe I paid like three bucks for this at Book Outlet um, like a couple years ago. And the ones that I'm finding are like $30 and $40. That's crazy. I'm sure you could find like free snowflake patterns online. But that's the book that I worked from. And this um, one is called Arctic Mist. And uh, most of the little things have a little blurb about them. And this one says, Arctic mist, also called ice fog. Oh my goodness, that does not even sound appealing. Arctic mist is a fog of minute ice particles suspended in the air. Ooh, so this might be what one of the little crystals looks like suspended in the air. I don't know about you guys, but I don't want to run into any Arctic mist. That's just myself. And then the last thing in the box is going to be a stitch marker. And let's see who we've got today. <gasps> oh, we've got a Christmas tree. I did make these stitch markers from charms that I bought off of Timu. And I did link um, those charms down below. Um, and the hardware I got just from Hobby Lobby. I like to buy the hardware when I see it on sale at Hobby Lobby because sometimes I get in the mood to make me some stitch markers. Okay, guys, let me let me get the Beatles up here. You want to say bye to everybody, Beatles? Did you have fun co-hosting today? Mm, my old man, baby, he don't like to be by himself anymore. He likes to be with people. So, yeah, so we will uh, say goodbye for today and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.